Hey, Scott or Stan here. I'll tell you what, one of the biggest piece of equipment that I use for cooking is the Dutch oven. This is an incredible piece of equipment for us scouters. Scouters go nuts about all the little tools and new things that are out there, but the Dutch oven is very unique. Did you know that there's two different kinds of Dutch ovens? The Dutch oven that's used for the home typically is flat. There's no feet on the bottom. And the top actually is a domed kind of lid so that steam can build up on the inside and roll off and uh, keep whatever's cooking inside moist. So that's a home unit. And it could be on top of a range or it could be in an oven. So that's a Dutch oven for the home. Not very practical for out in the field. Uh, the field or the, the, the Dutch ovens that are commonly used by scouters uh, is charcoal based. And because of that, it has a flat lid with a big lip on the edge. And if the bottom is still flat, but it has feet that hold it up over coals. Now, these coals can be natural charcoal. Uh, they could be coals from a fire or they could be briquettes from uh, grilling. So that's typically what they will that, that they will have. Most Dutch ovens will have somewhere between 10 and 12 inches. That seems to be the most common, but I've seen 18 and 24s. They're big, okay? And these things are heavy. They're made of iron. So that's not something you take on a canoe trip <laughs> or, or a long hike. Not a good idea. This is definitely for uh, camping uh, use. Uh, these things can be very heavy. There are some great little tools that you can get. One of the best tools that I've found is a chimney, uh, what they call a charcoal chimney. Uh, the charcoal chimney uh, is just that. It's a round container that you place your briquettes in or your, light or your uh, natural charcoal and light it without using any lighter fluid. And it literally, like a flume, it actually uh, causes the, the flame to rise up inside of this uh, cylinder. And it lights all of the charcoal at the same time. I've even seen troops put their chimneys on top of stovetops and let the natural flames coming up from the stove actually light the charcoal. Once it's lit, of course, they move it off onto another device known as a Dutch oven table. A Dutch oven table, it can be kind of expensive. I've seen some extreme ones. Um, you know, these are gadgets that would be great for Christmas, okay? <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, the table saves your back, okay? Us, us older scouts, that's important, okay? Think about our backs. Uh, it brings it up higher. It's a workstation where you can put the coals and it's not gonna, it's not plastic, so it's not gonna melt through or anything. And it, it, it's, a, it's a surface that'll hold it up higher up and um, you'll be able to get uh, better results uh, out of it and not forfeit your back. Uh, that's a big thing. Tongs that actually grab the top uh, and lock into place uh, are very important. Um, I'm going to place a, a note up here, okay? So definitely go see that. Come back and see. Don't do that now. Come back and then click on that, okay? Or go down to the bottom there and, and definitely uh, click on the link. Uh, but this guy's got the video. One-on-one, give you all the details. Of course, you're going to need gloves. You're going to need some tongs. Uh, like if you do grilling outdoors, you got some tongs, you could do that. Um, you're going to need, um, you know, uh, kitchenware that's either plastic. Uh, try to avoid uh, plastics that would melt, okay? You want something that, that's, that's good silicon-based, okay, so that you can use it in hot liquids and stuff. Uh, or wood, totally fine. Um, the neat thing about Dutch ovens is that they have, um, uh, I believe some of them call it batina, but it's a black substance that actually builds up on the inside, on the metal. And that gives it a non-stick coating. Pretty cool. So definitely look into it. Uh, being that it's uh, winter, um, that you could use these things uh, to make all kinds of lovely things uh, for the camp. And uh, believe me, kids, when they see this thing, and the adult leaders need to set the 
set the standard there. When they see the adult leaders doing these things, they'll want to do them too. So be that example. Uh, go out there, do some Dutch oven cooking with the troop, and uh, enjoy oh my goodness, the food that comes out of them. Because you can do everything. You can do uh, baking, you know, cookies and cakes and that kind of stuff. Uh, you can do frying. Uh, you can do stewing. You can do roasting. You can even, in some cases, I've seen steaming being done. I've seen um, boiling even. I mean, it's endless what you could do with a Dutch oven. And uh, I know you're a good leader. So go out there. Be the example, and uh, the youth will love learning about Dutch oven cooking. Till next time, I'll see you on the trail.